One of the first things you'll notice that when you launch uh, after upgrading to 10049 is that IE is gone. Uh, won't find it up there, and you won't find it down on the taskbar down below. If you look down here, all you'll find is a new icon, and that's for the new Spartan browser, which is replacing Internet Explorer. So let's uh, let's take a look at it. Now, the first thing, when you first launch, it'll take a few seconds for it to configure and all that. So then you come up, and it's pretty blank canvas here. You'll see it's just uh, here. It's trying to bring up the home page. Uh, but you notice the flat design, just like all of the... Uh, new Windows 10 stuff or Windows 8 actually as well uh, but let's expand it out and it's going to jump off and to, to show us some of the things it's going to do but that's what I'm going to do here in the demo now if you're used to uh, you know IE or any browser actually it doesn't make any difference but you'll have to look in here and watch read articles and all that and you can view everything you get ads and all that stuff uh, so you can do all sorts of things, select all, you know, you can do all the normal stuff, navigate back and forth. But if you're used to using a Windows phone, you're going to see uh, something that's very exciting. It's this book mode right here. Now, right now, in this particular area where you're looking at all the links, there's nothing to do there. We want to activate. But once you go into an article, and it has to be certain types of articles, it activates what the reading mode. So let's find one. Uh, let's find a nice uh, topic about uh, uh, human skeletons found. Now, if you notice up top, that's changed to the book mode. And if you click on it, it simply strips all the ads away so you can read this just like uh, you would a book. And there you are. You're reading the article without ads, without anything else. It's very nice and clean. Now, if you're used to using Windows 7's clipping tool, you'll find out that there's a similar function already built into Spartan. You click on the top right, there's an edit button, or edit link, and you can bring up uh, editing tools over here, which you can draw circles around stuff, you can highlight it with a highlighter, and do those kinds of things. Now you can also do things besides these. You can, oh, by the way, you can just hit the erase tool, and then you can clear uh, areas, or you can say clear all. Uh, you can click on the uh, text box, and, it'll, and if you click somewhere on the page, to do that. Uh, this is a place where you can highlight the area you want to work with and you can copy it. Uh, but if you hit the text box, uh, you can create text areas or text annotations uh, for the page as well. So if I do that, I click on it, uh, you see that uh, a text box opens up off page a little bit. But right there it says I can just type in stuff here and I can make an annotation. This is the what I want you to pay attention to or what I want uh, you to see. It's a very easy way to make annotations on what you're going to share with somebody else. Now, in order to do that, once you, you can, by the way, minimize these, create multiples, do whatever you want. Uh, you can highlight different things, but uh, there I've moved it over here. I can delete one. If I make an extra one, you just delete. But anyways, so once you have what you want to do and you want to share this page and everything, there's uh, some sharing controls. You can use this in conjunction with the other highlighter or a clip or whatever. Uh, but once you have all that identified, you can go up here to the upper right-hand corner. There's a Save button, and there's also a Share. Now, not unlike a phone, which has a ton of different sharing options, this only has one sharing option right now. And uh, you can do a screenshot uh, and uh, cause it to save it to a green screenshot. Uh, makes it very easy to make annotations on your screen. Most articles out there will tell you that Cortana is not working, but it is. But it's pointing to the wrong browser. So let's take a look. What time is it? And it brings up Internet Explorer, the old Internet Explorer. So they didn't set it up correctly. So what you have to do is you have to go to you use Spartan. You have to do what you do normally for then you go to settings. Uh, we'll go back up here. This is a new place to find settings. This is your control panel now. And we'll go over to system. Well, actually, you know, I'll just go in here and type in default browser. And sure enough, there it is. I'll click on that. I'll change that from Internet Explorer to Project Spartan. That's all it takes. And we can test again. What time is it? And as you can see, now it brings up the Spartan browser. And it gives you the result automatically, 10.40 p.m. Now, because I have a Windows phone, my Cortana on it knows all my preferences and all that. So sometimes it brings up automatic stuff you think you want to know about, like the Cubs result here. Uh, I used to be a big Cubs fan. But let's try a different, same command with different stuff. Let's try a, a different kind of 
ask him a question. What time is it in Hong Kong? And sure enough, there it is, brings up Spartan, and now it says, oh, there it is in Hong Kong, China. So that's basically Cortana working within with uh, the Spartan browser. Uh, I have another video I'm going to do just on Cortana commands, uh, do a few of those. Uh, but let's take a look now at how to change the settings for uh, the browser. As settings goes, it's a normal place up the right hand corner. You'll see that you click on the three dots and then you'll see all your different controls here for uh, zooming, sharing, find on page, printing, and more, more settings as well. So you just want to go to your normal place you're going to find uh, in your browser to change some of these. And if we uh, see, if we go over here and we click on, uh, well, that's to put full screen mode, uh, just to changing the zoom level. Uh, if we go to uh, Mother's well, Developers Tools, if you might do the Find On Page, here's the print settings. It brings up the normal dialogue or interface to your print settings. So all the usual stuff you expect to see on your browser uh, settings in that corner. So if we go back to that corner again, and we can go take a look at some of the other settings, which is show the favorites bar on and off, uh, font sizes, you know, all the different kinds of things. You know, start up with there's your settings for a web page. Uh, you know, different kinds of different things that you normally would be able to configure your browser for. Uh, Pop-up blocking, you know, all that, do not track request. So that's basically the, uh, the settings area of your Spartan browser. So there's a quick look at uh, the Spartan browser for in Windows 10. It's a tantalizing view of a few functions and uh, that they're working on. And uh, we'll see as it progresses, but it's nothing really dramatically new. The one thing this won't do is the reason they keep IE in it is because it has to be, Windows has to be compatible for for plugins and stuff, which the Spartan browser isn't, uh, so they'll continue to work uh, for legacy stuff. So uh, it looks promising, and let's see what happens in the future. Hey, and don't forget to subscribe to Old Guy Geek. Come on back for Windows 8 and Windows 10, and Windows Phone 8 and Windows 10, and general how-to videos. All here to help you make the most out of your system.